If I was still farming like a lot of my neighbors, I'd be as bored as they are. There are guys that just hate what they're doing and they get to be farmers, but they haven't done anything new in 40 years. Every year that we try something new and it works, it's like, all right, we got it all figured out. And then I go to a winter conference and somebody tells me something new and it's like, I think we got to try that. <laughs> go back 10 years, we just had a cow-calf operation. There's a real learning curve to something you've never done before, and we've never had sheep. We're probably going to get up to a couple hundred. We'd like to integrate all of our species together. We don't want to call anything a weed because it's just that you don't have the right livestock out there trying to eat it. Oh. So nothing is a weed for you, it's all some kind of food for one of your animals. Food for animals and it's something growing in the soil, and that's what we want to keep. The concept that there are microbes in the soil that symbiotically get along with microbes in a cow's gut. How that works, I don't know, but it, it sure seems to work. The benefits are astronomical. We have proof of benefits. My brother and I have always treated opening day of pheasant season as a national holiday. And there was a time there when we couldn't find very many pheasants anymore. And so we started making an effort. Right now in South Dakota, we're supposed to have one of the lowest pheasant numbers ever. It's not true on our land. to be able to do something new.